Hello guys, so um, I've recently come across this error and it is the 0xc000000f error and it's basically where it says a required device isn't connected or can't be accessed. Now I think the issue to this is the load order which is what maybe come to this temporary conclusion as uh, you know it just seems to me like it's that so I came across this and just playing around with the BIOS this seemed to work it doesn't entirely fix it now before you click off the video I'm just going to say that it does load you back onto your computer however you will need to do it every time you load up your computer so that's sort of annoying and I don't know a proper fix to it yet but it it gets you back onto your computer rather than staring at this blue screen now how you do it is you you have to have a Windows media installation disk so if you go to the link in the description below you'll find the Windows media disk link what you do is you go down and click download tool if it asks you what operating system you're on it's either 32 bit or 64 bit if you don't know that then I am sorry uh, you're gonna have to take a random pick there but if one doesn't work then maybe the other will but once you've done that you will want to go to the BIOS settings now I'll show you in a quick clip here how to uh, what where to go on the BIOS settings so I'll let that play for you it's loaded to your motherboard screen go into the BIOS settings so I press delete for mine then once you're in here uh, it'll look different but you want to go somewhere to like save and exit this is what it's like for a gigabyte motherboard so once you're on save and exit you will be presented with this page. Sorry, I've got shaky hands. There we go. Once you're presented with this, scroll down and you'll find all your devices. What you want to do first is boot up the device with the recovery media on it. Okay, now uh, once you've done that, you should have got onto the screen with the troubleshooting, etc. etc. You want to click troubleshoot advanced options and then system restore now if you do not have any system restores then I am so sorry there may not be a solution in this video for you other than to try the next step but if you do have a system restore go through and do the very most recent one so you don't lose a lot of data if you don't really care about losing that much data uh, depending on what you've done in the past, like, you know, however long it says that was made, check the date, uh, then that's fine. You can just select one and go with it, and then it'll restore it to that point. To get through System Restore is all you have to do is go to, uh, you select your device that you create the restore points on, which should be your Windows device. Now... The reason I say this is because no other device will work if you do restore points on those. Yeah, it'll have to be the one with Windows installed on it. So again, choose that device. And once you've uh, chosen that, it'll come up with this screen right here. This screen will tell you all your um, device times. Now for me, it didn't entirely fix it. And it said, oh, system restore failed. Please try again. So I was getting a little frustrated and I thought I'll go into the BIOS settings again. So what you're going to want to do now is go restart your computer again and go into the BIOS settings. And then once you've done that, you'll want to come back to this screen because it is still say, ah, oh, it's not working or something like that. And find the hard drive with Windows installed. So that'll be your main hard drive, which is this one for me. I'll just zoom in on that that's my hard drive and you press enter and it will begin to load up and you'll have to do this every time like I said but if anyone finds a way to stop it or how to change the 
boot up order because I do believe it's that from my experience with this um, then let me know and this will be probably the first time other than the installation media that you'll see this uh, window this this screen here so this is basically showing you it loading up but I'm gonna cut to the point where it's actually loaded up okay so eventually it will get off that screen and come to this screen and there you go is now loaded up and your computer you're able to access it again etc etc and here's proof that it loads up right I've skipped my email part but you can see it saying welcome over there here we go I am now booted onto my menu okay so now that the video has ended hopefully that did work sorry about the cutting it's you're just gonna have to trust me with on this but it is not me just making it up and saying oh this works because I only have one computer that I only use which is this one so it that's that's why I got a bit worried at first because I, I didn't want it bro to break down because I love this PC so much but the, the, the reason I had to cut was because I have barely any space on my phone. I download tons of games and it doesn't have much space to start off with anyway. And I'm not really a mobile person. So that's one thing. But hopefully this does work. If it doesn't, then I'm going to have to just tell you that there are other solutions to this issue. And maybe those will even permanently fix it. If you find a permanent fix, please let me know down in the description below. And I'll confirm whether it worked for me or not. Either way, you guys could still try them fixes. Unless it's like, I'll go to this site and download this. Because obviously that is not going to work. That is obviously them just trying to, you know, be dickheads. So, other than that, if it didn't work, I am completely sorry. Uh, maybe tr try other videos. That's what I'd do. I, I normally there's lots of solutions out there, and it doesn't exactly tell you which file is causing the problem. So it that's what makes me come to the conclusion that's a boot up order that's causing it to do that. If this did help, I'll be happy to hear it down in the comments below, and also a like would help a lot. Thank you for watching and I shall see you guys later.